What's going on guys, it's Ace from Gaming Hookup. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial video how to combat and counter stick and move players or possibly they're using scuff or even a mouse and keyboard. This is my go-to class, man. I rock the Exeon, Xeon, whatever you wanna call it, however you pronounce it. I'm using the MCP variants with ELO quick draw and grip the reason why i use the elo is i don't really like the sight on the xeon uh, just my personal preference uh, and this video i just want to point out i'm not hating on anybody that's using stick and move or even scuff controllers you got to do what you got to do to get kills in this game my friends but real quick the reason why i'm picking the mcp uh, it's one of my favorites because it speeds up aiming down sight Okay, I get a lot of, most of my kills in this game are going to be aiming down sight. It does reduce the hip fire accuracy, not really noticeable because all the buffs that this gun has received. It does increase movement speed while crouched. Very important if you're using tactical like myself. I slide a lot and I'm dropping down when people are flying up in the air. I'm dropping down to the ground to get those kills. Now, you know, you're going to see yourself running into a lot of players in hardcore are very skilled. Um, and as you can see, I'm picking up some kills here, getting some nice little kill feeds and all that stuff. Um, but really, you know, you can rock any rig you want with this. The reason why I picked the Xeon is because... It has such good accuracy right now. There's no recoil. The aim assist just locks right on. I mean, it's one of the most reliable guns in the game at this point. And that's a personal opinion. I don't know what you guys are experiencing using this gun. If you haven't yet given it a chance uh, since the gun was dropped, give this DLC weapon another try. Um, I am rocking personal radar because you know what? I'm going to throw off the individuals that have those high KDs. I know they're using personal radar 9 times out of 10. Uh, that's why I'm going to rock on perk 2, cold blood is it, as you can see. Uh, cold blooded is very important. You know, it's going to counter those personal radars. Um, I am rocking ghost on this class and dexterity. You could swap dexterity for blind eye for sitting back a little bit and you don't need that faster reload I need fast reload because I'm always moving around you can swap dexterity for blind eye like I said now that's gonna counter your RCA warden micro tur shock sentry and vulture uh, it's only gonna counter the RCA if it's not being controlled by the individual uh, totally up to you your call on what you want to rock you could just go ghost uh, you could just go blind eye my opinion you're playing against better players they're gonna be throwing up a lot of UAVs it's totally up to you I mean I personally recommend dexterity now going to perk 2 cold-blooded it's gonna counter the thermal sites perception personal radar this is huge this is important this is a must-have perk to this class gonna account of those personal radars that a lot of higher KD players are using. If you see them running war, war fighter, they're probably going to be using personal radar with resupply. Okay, Hardwired. Now perk 3, you can do whatever you want on this one. I just threw hardwired on this class because it does counter pulsar. It's going to help you get more kill streaks. This is just an all around great perk. I also use a lot of gung ho on my third perks, uh, or you can delete third perk, add more attachments. Totally up to you. If you're going to have a third perk, I'd probably use hardwired. If you're playing against, you know, better KD players, dead silence, a lot of folks are going to say is a must have on your perk three loadouts. I'm going to leave this one up to you guys. But as you can see, um, it is immune to counter UAVs. That's huge because a lot of folks that are higher KD players are running UAV, counter UAV, and advanced UAV. And in the description, guys, I'll make sure I upload this image. Uh, so check that out if you want a little loadout description. And you can use any rig really with this. It's totally your decision on this. I'm not saying which one to use. You could try the Phantom with active camo with heightened senses. You may want to try the FTL. You can use phase shift with perception i wouldn't recommend the eraser though what it boils down to guys is your personal opinion and your what you're comfortable with using and in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you guys are you guys using stick and move did you switch from default to stick and move are you using a scuff controller and here at gaming hookup we're not against the way anybody plays however you play Whatever you got to do to get kills, streak up and have fun. That's what it's all about. Are you having fun in the game? If you're not, try switching it up. You're running into issues. You're running into folks that have really high kill-death ratios. And you feel like you're getting killed before they even turn the corner. Before you even turn the corner is what I mean, actually. Uh, then they may be pre-firing. They may be using pre-fire uh, pre methods uh, and using uh, personal radar with the warfighter and the resupply. If they're doing that, switch to this class. Have this class made. Try using that, though. Try using the, the Xeon 
Xeon with uh, cold-blooded. Um, if you don't like the Xeon, you're not a fan of it, switch the gun out and use the perks that I use. I've had a lot of success, you know, against players that have higher kill-death ratios using cold-blooded. I've found that a lot of folks, because of how, pretty much how the, the game is just kind of unreliable, you know, the hit detection is unreliable. A lot of folks are using personal radar, including myself, you know. I will throw on personal radar when I'm running into problems, as you can see in this match I threw up. And, you know, to combat that, there's only so many things you can do because when you use that personal radar and you don't have cold blooded on, they can come around the corner pre-firing and you have absolutely no chance. Especially if they know that you're a competition, if you're in a party, you're gonna find folks pre-firing more. If you have cold blooded and ghost on, it's gonna prevent that. And if you're using hardwired, you're not gonna run into issues with the counter UAVs. So, you know, in the comment section below, guys, let me know what you guys recommend as far as your personal favorite loadout, gun, what rig you use. You know, when you get into those really, really try hard, lobbies where you're playing against some really good players and they're just beating you up what gun and what rig do you switch to i really would love to hear the feedback and if you haven't found that loadout yet give this one a try and i definitely appreciate you guys this time drop a like on the video if you enjoyed the video we appreciate the subscriptions that we've been getting make sure you guys click the notification bell so when we do come up with a new live stream or a new uh, review or news video that you're getting notified right away and that ensures that you're not missing out on any new content and guys, with that being said, I really appreciate you guys stopping by today. Again, this is Ace from Gaming Hookup, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.